Hey, what's up guys? Uh, really short video, or I hope uh, it turns out to be one. Uh, this is a public service announcement, all right? Uh, should be evident to a lot of you guys. I know it's not to a lot of you other guys. All right, here's the deal. You guys leave me comments, um, and a lot of times it's not uncommon for me to uh, click on your user profile and just see if you've got any tracks up. And if you do, just check out, you know, what genre you're in and all this other stuff. Kind of gauge where my viewers' uh, level is in terms of production, mixing, all that stuff. Uh, one thing I'm finding is I'll show up on a page sometimes and the artwork you guys use, the images you use to essentially, um, you know, uh, represent your sound. Uh, the artwork, I mean, like, I'll show up and I, I can't help but think, like, okay, I'm here because I know this is one of my viewers and I'm going to listen to their stuff one way or another. That's why I'm there. But I, you know, I start thinking, I'm like, if I was anybody else and I showed up to your uh, YouTube video, you know, or your SoundCloud page, you know, if I, if that, if that prospective listener or pr uh, prospective fan, uh, saw this, I think they would just leave the page. You have to take image into account. It's, it's you know, your image and your overall uh, artwork vibe has to speak to what your music is about. Like, you can't just slap some shit together in Microsoft Paint. You're, you're killing it. I mean, I, I've, gone to, uh, I've gone to some of your channels... And I look at this, uh, the artwork, and I'm like, it, it looks like a five-year-old put this together in paint, or it's just some obscure, fo I mean, it's, this is critical, guys. I mean, I'm going to listen to your stuff, and the funny thing is, you know, some of these JPEGs or the visuals that are used are so bad, but when I click on it, I'm like, holy shit, this guy's a pro, this sounds amazing, but I quickly realize if I was anybody else... Um, they wouldn't. I, they probably wouldn't even hit play just because it looks like it's so uh, unprofessional or just so nonsensical. You ha you have to consider. Look, we're we're working in an art form, right? Like in movies, what wh what's the thing with movies, right? There's the acting performance. Then there's the other aspect of the dialogue and and how the writers put it together. Then obviously the visuals have to look nice, and of course they use music. So that particular art form has like uh, multiple facets that make up the whole. In music, all we really have, okay, we've got, you know, the quality of our lyrics, the delivery of the performances, recording mixing quality, and the visual aspect, the, the album art, or, uh, you know, uh, the, the logo for how you write your artist's name, right? I mean, it's insane, guys. I, Man, I, I, you know, I, I feel like this stuff should be very explanatory, but I can't tell you guys how many times I, I've, I've gone to check out a lot of people's stuff, a lot of my viewers' stuff, and I'm just blown away by how great it sounds and how awful, uh, or, you know, it, let's not call it awful. Uh, like, I, I feel like you, you spent a month putting together this masterpiece that sounds incredible, but you spent three minutes in Microsoft Paint just slapping some shit up against the wall. Stop it. You're killing your brand. Stop it, you know? Um, if you're not a visual artist or you're not sure what to do, don't just say, oh, screw it. I'll just whip something up. It doesn't matter because it matters so much that you might not even get a play pushed on your video or on your song simply because graphically you're not representing your music to the pro level you're at. You know, it's brutal. Um, if you're not an artist, I want to show you guys, I, I know a lot of you have heard of a website called Fiverr, uh, F I V E double R R R.com. Right. Uh, but let me just show you how easy it is. And you can get like some really, they've got a lot of great graphic designers, uh, that do album artwork. Uh, and a lot of it, it's like for five bucks, you can get great album artwork or it doesn't even have to be, you know, if you're not releasing albums and you just want to put up something on YouTube, please, 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 if you value the quality of your music, spend five bucks to get some decent artwork done so you could put it as a still uh, into your YouTube video. It's just going to go such a long way in terms of 
selling your whole artistic vision because that art is such a big part of music. The the visual part of it is such a big part of the whole package, you know. Anyways, uh, I got uh, I got uh, my screen capture running. Let me just show you guys how easy this is. All right. Uh, so here's Fiverr.com. All you really have to do is you show up to their main page. You put in uh, album art. See, like, look, look, it's already pre-filling some of the services album cover, right? So let's click on album cover. And here, Fiverr has all, and they're all rated. So you can kind of see, like, just in case you guys haven't used this, 50 means uh, this guy's had 50 reviews. And, and out of five stars, he's got a 4.8. This guy's got out of 44 reviews, he's got all five stars. So nobody had a single bad thing to say about him. And as you can see, if I scroll down, I mean, you know, there are tons and tons of these graphic designers who are pretty damn good. I mean, look at some of this artwork. Look, this person's got over a thousand, they've done over a thousand covers and they're averaging 4.9 stars, right? And look, it just goes on and on. And look how cool a lot of this stuff is. A lot of you guys aren't even coming anywhere near this. And your music sounds really great. So it's like, get a, you know, get some great design. So like, let's say, for example, let's try this first guy. We click on him. And the nice thing is, you could see what kind of stuff he does. So just like, you know, when I always talk to you guys about like, you have a style with your sound, this guy's a, got a graphical style. And maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. But you see, as you scroll through his artwork, yeah, he definitely has, you know, he likes he likes to draw. Now, maybe this doesn't work for you. Hey, no problem, let's try the next guy. Uh, let's see what this dude's doing. He doesn't have too many reviews, and I, I think he's a little bit, I think he's a little bit uh, crazy starting his art. I, I don't know what he's offering, but that's brutal. Let's find a nice $5 guy here. Here's a $5 guy, let's see what he's up to. All right, so this guy too is drawing graphics. You know, I'm really not a big, too big of a fan of like this, but maybe you are, and if you are, this guy's perfect for you. Let's find something where they're really, um, let's find something that I think speaks to me, and that's priced right. Um, you know, 10 bucks might be an okay, you know, keep in mind, if you're just, if you're putting out an album, sure, spend a little bit more money, but if you just want a nice, cool looking picture for your uh, YouTube still, uh, for the video, you know, five bucks is good. So let, hey, let's check out the five dollar guy who's got over a thousand reviews. And let's check out some of his work. All right, so look, for five bucks, something like this is pretty dope, because you know that looks pretty to me. That looks pretty cool. That's pretty artsy. Let's see what else he's got. Like, look at all that. I mean, this guy does some really, you know, pretty slick stuff. Um, you know, uh, I, I think this could work across different genres. And I know a lot of these guys also say, like, you can, you can say, like, oh, I was thinking to have something, you know, like such and such. You can give them ideas. But look, these are all covers that he created. Like, that's pretty sweet. That's a very nice, hip, modern design, you know. Um, anyways, uh, you get the point. It's Fiverr.com. I'll leave the link below. You know, make a little budget. For, you know, five bucks to pay one of these guys to create a cool visual concept that you can actually direct him or her in. Um, you know, it, it, it's not just like, here's five bucks. Give me something cool. It's, hey, I do like heavy, dark metal. Give me something that fits that vibe. Or, hey, man, I'm doing hip hop. Uh, I like more of an urban type of visual. Give me some like cityscapes or something like that, all right? I, I don't wanna say much more about this, but guys, uh, you know, I'm not gonna call anybody out, but I, I know I've, I see this all the time. I go to check out everybody's stuff, and I'm just like, dude, it sounds killer. It looks like shit. It looks like this is an amateur. I'm sure most people aren't even clicking play when they see it, because it just looks like, if the, vi if the visual looks this bad, how, how much worse can it sound, right? And it's, you know, you got to fix it, all right? That's all I'm going to say about it. But this is like, this is huge. This is serious. If your art's not right, if, if you're not visually branding your logo across your social media sites like YouTube and SoundCloud and Bandcamp, you got to have a logo, right? Like Metallica, when you see Metallica, it's the same font all the time. It's Metallica. And their art is always spot on. It it illustrates what the music is communicating or sounds like, right? All right, that's it. I'm out. Uh, I'm going to catch you guys soon. I got a couple more video ideas, but just wanted to say that, all right? This is serious. Don't, don't, don't shortchange, uh, don't shortchange your, the, the visual aspect of your music, all right? Catch you guys next time. Peace.